high, well, we're freezing here, but apart from that, um, we are uh, on a humanitarian mission to try and build as many hospitals in war-torn and famine-stricken countries around the world. Um, our key areas had been Syria. Uh, we've sent 25 medical containers of mostly what you see here. Brother Ali there, these beds are going on and unfortunately we didn't get a drop down container so we're having to uh, change plans this morning, yeah the next time there's going to be the drop down container. organization. I'd like to thank the volunteers of Hardship for the medical equipment they offer to the hospital of Raqqa. Actually all the tools are very necessary here in the hospital, especially the surgical tools, uh, the patient beds, the baby beds, and uh, the transport incubators. Um, all of these tools are uh, under usage now in this hospital. All full, the other one's emptied. All this aid, medical aid, does not get delivered here. It's always collected by Lisa mostly. Lots of lots of man hours, lots of mileage, lots of diesel goes into this. She hasn't got a magic broom. Lots and lots of beds. Lots of instruments over there in the far corner. It's Ali Khatan here from Belfast Islamic Center, uh, and we've all come together. Sorry, I forgot your name again. Stephen mm -hmm. from Lan. We have Lisa from Tyrone. The star from Tyrone, uh, and then we have the lads here uh, loading the beds on. We all come together to make a big difference for the people who are less fortunate in the world out there. Again, we're loading the container on for Yemen, and we have the monitors here. We've already loaded the beds on. We've got some examination beds here. So there's a quite a lot of a very expensive equipment here, which will get to the destination in Yemen for the people that need it there. Thank you very much.
it started with the wheelchair and it amasses to this so um, I can't begin to tell you how blown away I am sometimes even when I look back on Facebook from what I did last year I'm like, how is that physically possible <laughs> one woman one mission but um, God is good and he sent you guys to me today which is which is amazing and if we can partner more and if you guys can go back and, and give your testimony of what you've done here today and um, by the grace of God more people will come and more people will give their hearts and hands to help others less fortunate in this world so we're really super excited we're working with ADRA we've worked with ADRA before we've catered out their hospital in Mosul which uh, there's a hundred thousand um, displaced people um, and uh, Dr. Michael uh, von Hursten, who's part of the medical team with I am ADRA he built a hospital there well didn't build it himself obviously but with the funds that ADRA um, and the support that those guys had given they were able to build a field hospital. That field hospital treated 50,000 patients in the space of six months and saved many many lives. We sent over again beds, um, intensive care, um, ventilators, life support machines, baby incubators um, and if you follow Dr Michael on Facebook you'll see the work he's done. So yeah we're really excited to be able to do this again to duplicate these efforts in Uganda. It's my first ever container to Africa. We've done the Middle East, we're now in Africa. We've just arrived, um, we've just driven past the reception centre for new refugees from the DRC. Um, it's just up there on the hill and, and there are about 200 people standing outside. They've just arrived on a bus from Eastern Congo. And if you look in the news, Eastern Congo is currently facing the, the worst Ebola crisis um, in the history of the country and in the history of the entire region. Complicated by a hunger crisis, complicated by a, 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 a region with horrific ethnic violence. So, um, so it's this community um, have seen the face of hell and we're really happy to be able to you know, reach out to them and to make a difference here. And we welcome you to get on board as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Cheers. So many of you donated money and donated um, equipment for this project. I'll just go through it briefly. We've got a, a big donation of equipment coming from Northern Ireland from Hardship Foundation. Thank you, Lisa, for that. If you had said to me three years ago, I would be saving lives on the other side of the world. I'd have told you that it was ridiculous, but um, it's very believable. Uh, when you believe in, in yourself and believe in powers greater than you, these things can happen. So thanks for watching and thanks for giving up your time today. And I do hope that you take something from this video um, and give with your hands or your heart, um, even help us do fundraising uh, because these oper this operation can't run on fresh air uh, and we get absolutely no funding. So um, it's been great. Thanks for listening and hope I see you guys again soon. Thanks for your time.